Over the past couple weeks, I've had a ton of comments from all of you asking what I'm gonna do now that Trust Performance has halted operations. In short, they're closed. I don't know how else to really say it. I've actually been a little confused at these comments because, well, Trust is closed. We had a contract. They paid me. I feel like I delivered my value to them and they were a fantastic partner. Sure, I don't have a contract moving forwards with them, but I still have a bunch of their forks and I plan to ride their forks along with some other new stuff that I'll tell you about later on in this video. Like I mentioned in the Trust videos, there's a lot of things to like about the linkage forks, but traditional telescoping forks are pretty darn good too. So this is all okay. I'm not super old or anything, I'm 35, but I have learned that a challenge like Trust closing their doors is really just an opportunity in disguise. I am not emotionally distraught in any shape or form of Trust taking a break, closing, whatever you wanna say. I've actually figured out a way to make this a pretty cool opportunity to do some new stuff. So I'll tell you all about that. Speaking of challenges and opportunities, here's a good example. With the COVID pandemic, I've had to hit the pause button on all my riding clinics I had scheduled for the spring and probably for the summer. In fact, I haven't taken any signups for these events yet because I don't know if we can have them. As a result, to get around this, I've been putting together a virtual coaching program. I got a suggestion from one of my followers and it sounds pretty cool. So I'm gonna have folks send me clips of them riding. I'll do an edit of their clip with a critique and some put tutorial pointers on how they could better perform that skill. Kind of a unique business idea. We'll see if you guys are interested in it. I bet all of you have been faced with a bunch of struggles and challenges as well during this pandemic. We're not in this alone. So if you've overcome this challenge in a unique way, I'd love to hear about it. Drop me a comment below. I'll be cruising through those. It's always interesting to hear what you guys have to say. <laughs> that was sloppy. This idea of making your challenges into opportunities is exactly what Trust has done. So when Trust came to the fork market, if they made another telescoping fork, it would just fit right into the crowd. But they had a very innovative, very legit, very viable new idea on how to take on these big fork manufacturers. And I think it was super legit. So by making a telescoping fork, I don't think we'd be talking about Trust right now. But the fact that they tried this different design, it got me very interested in trying the product out, and I think they played the cards as well as they could have. In fact, last year's Trust sold over a thousand units, and between the shout and the message, that's pretty darn good. Some super rough math, and that's between one and a half, two million dollars worth of sales, and for a startup in the bike industry, that's really good. I'm an outsider to the situation. I'm not an official Trust employee. I don't have an inside line or whatever, but from having worked in the bike industry, it sounds like they simply had no inventory in stock, which I can attest to. I've needed another shout fork and they haven't had one for me for a while now. And they weren't able to get more product from Asia because a lot of the factories are closed right now due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So nothing to sell, unable to get new product for quite some time and bills are all coming due. This means they needed money in a hurry. And if they're relying on investor capital, unfortunately, this is a very challenging time to get investment money. They very carefully did not say that they were closing down for good, declaring bankruptcy, anything like that. No, they just said halting operations. So I have a hunch we'll see trust again. And when we do, I would be honored to work with them again. They have great product and the guys there are really good. Oh, oh, it's the first for everything. Before I tell you what my plan is moving forwards, I wanna give a big shout out, pun fully intended, to Ben Craner, the marketing manager over at Trust. Ben is an awesome guy. I've worked with a dozen companies or so in the last few years, and Ben has been one of my favorite marketing managers to work with. Ben is a great dude. Wherever he ends up next, I would love to work with Ben. Spike Industry, if you're listening, Ben might need a job, I don't even know, but if you can hire him, do it. It'll be worth your while. Now I don't have some kind of a new suspension sponsor that I would be announcing right now. 
I did reach out to my friends at Fox and they very kindly gave me a smoking deal on a couple of new forks. I've got one on my HD5 and one on my Ripmo V2. Big part of why I went that way, even knowing that the 38 and all the new 2021 stuff was coming out, was that a lot of you asked me to review the HD5 and give it a bit of a rad report like I did the Ripmo AF. Well, honestly, I can't do that for the HD5 because I haven't ridden it much in the stock setup. So by getting a stock fork, I can actually spend some time on it in a way that would be somewhat comparable to how the bike comes stock. The message is a 530 axle to crown. The HD5 is designed around a 559 mil axle to crown. And the shout is something like 580 mils axle to crown. So the message is over here, the shout's way up here, and in the middle, Trust doesn't have something to offer. So I don't have a way to ride the HD5 with a Trust fork that would replicate the stock Geo. So I threw that stock configuration, 36, 170, 37 mil offset, grip two damper, 36 on the front of that bike. And I've got one ride on it like that, it's rad. I'll keep riding it as time allows, as pandemic regulations allow, and I'll give you all a ride report in due time. As you all know, Jensen is perhaps my biggest overall supporter at this point, and Jensen sells suspension from lots of brands. So what other suspension brands do you want to see on the channel? Big thanks to the guys at Fox. They still supported me last year with rear suspension. I told them, hey, I've got a new fork. I've got a new uh, seat post sponsor. And they were like, yeah, we'll help you out with shocks. So I did a bunch of Fox shock videos last year. A big thanks to all of you for watching my videos. Thanks for hitting that subscribe button or I never expected to have however 32,000 subscribers. That's a lot of people. That's more than entire cities. That's half of Bellingham. That's insane. Let me know in the comments below, like I asked earlier, how has this whole pandemic made you have a big challenge and create a clever, interesting new opportunity out of that challenge. As always, big thanks to all my Patreon supporters. My riding tutorials have been going really well. Last month we did a fun tutorial that was not quite so much helpful for most people, but it was super fun to watch. And there's a legit tutorial in there. It's how to <laughs> manual through a berm. It's more advanced, not applicable to everyone, but it was really fun to film. It's super fun to watch. And the tips in there are very real. It's not nearly as hard to manual through a berm as you might think. Such a nice day out. I'm really enjoying this. I, I feel selfish saying this, but I've been really enjoying this pandemic because all of my trips are on hold or canceled or whatever. And being at home in the spring in the Northwest, look at this. This is awesome. Now, I feel very selfish saying that because I know some of you have lost loved ones. Any one of us could succumb to the COVID-19. So this is a scary time, but you know what? Freaking out, worrying. It's not going to help anything. I've done my best to be prepared. We're all in the same boat together. I'm enjoying this time with my kiddo. I'm enjoying working on my backyard, my garage shop, my new gym. As long as we have our family and our health, that's really what matters. It doesn't hurt to have a sweet Ripmo V2. That thing's legit. Just put a new saddle, then new Fox Fork, 160 travel, 44 offset, 36 grip 2. Never had an orange fork before, it's sweet. Looking forward to some more time on that. The Occam's been fun, but man, a bigger bike has its place. I've been riding the e-bike a bunch too, that thing is legit. That is too much fun. <laughs>